like playing with Barbie. You have to pretend that this movie is something more than what it really is. Why would Ken have hairy nipples? What, what are you doing here? I went to the Barbie movie special screening last night in Leicester Square in London. I dressed up as middle-aged country Ken. And the movie was horrible. Basically, the movie, the plot is girls are great, boys are dummies. That's your plot. And it doesn't have to be. There are lots of good movies made about smart women where you don't have to punch down. This movie, the women are the smartest things in the movie because the men are so stupid. Nobody's smart in this movie. Cruising just as fast as she can now. This movie starts off exactly as you want it to be. It's Barbie in Barbie world doing all of her funny little Barbie things with like the joke is on themselves. Like Barbie's making fun of herself. It's funny. We're all on board. And then it went nutso. It went nutso right away. The women are pretty. The boys are pretty. Nobody's smart. But the boys are really stupid. At least in the real world, there is Barbie world and there's real world. At least in the real world, you have two smart female characters. That's it. And they get thrown under the bus. The one character that's kind of interesting is this tween girl with angst. And she's got something to say. But the Barbie movie says, when we get halfway through, we're going to put a little mascara on you and then shut your mouth. We're tired of hearing you talk, little girl. You have too much opinions. Let's just be pretty. Basically what the movie did, which is bizarre to me. The whole thing was bizarre. They're trying to pass this movie off as like girl power. It is not girl power. At one point, there's this scene where all of the Ken dolls take over Barbie world and they turn it into one giant frat house. But what's weird is that all of the female dolls, all the Barbies, go along with it and are really happy, which was odd. And then when the girls decide to fight back against this and take over Barbie land. And do you know how they do it? By using wisdom, by using intelligence? No, by using the oldest concept of female ingenuity, which is women have no power except through their feminine manipulation of men to deceive men into thinking that they care. They all become... Delilah's. That's how they decide to beat the Kins. It's disappointing. It's disappointing. I expected to see a movie where it was going to be Barbie entering the real world and she's going to have some funny misadventures and we get to laugh along as she's like a fish out of water and she's got, you know, her funny feet that only wear high heels and she's got her funny way of walking and her hair. Like there's so many great jokes and the movie starts that way and you get all those fun jokes. But as soon as it moves into the plot, it gets totally bizarre. Do we have any idea of why Barbie's in the real world? Some vague idea about she has to meet the girl that's supposed to be playing with her and then do what? I don't, they drop it. And then there's this encounter with Will Ferrell's character. He has a giant box, one of those giant Barbie boxes, and he's trying to get Barbie back in that box. For they drop it there. I mean, it could have been interesting. You see a moment where Barbie gets into the box and they're like tying her arms and they're tying it in. What are they saying? That, that once a woman starts discovering her voice that maybe she should be shut up and placed back in a box to be on display? That could be an interesting thing to talk about, but they don't. They give up on that. The box is like... And then there's also this interesting thing that they, do, that they dig into near the end of the movie where you see that all the kins are kind of representing what it's been like for women throughout the years to be reduced to just the um, second part of humanity. That could be an interesting idea, but they get to it so late. And then when they get to it, they like hammer your head with it. This is the point of the movie. It hasn't been the point of the movie. The point of the movie has been 
this really shallow script that often goes on to these very long like music video segments. A trashy, trashy movie. Also, why does Ken have hair around his nipples? Why would that even be in the movie? Because I started getting this weird feeling about halfway through that I'm taking part in something kind of perverted. Is this, is, a, is this a movie for little girls? Is this a movie for little girls? If it is, why would the movie start with this really long joke about mutual masturbation among the Ken dolls that they again call back to at the end of the movie? This movie's not for little girls. Why later on in the movie there's this full-on armpit shot of one of the like lean, sexy Ken dolls and they're fighting, and you see this armpit shot. Why would that even exist? Why would Ken have body hair at all? That is, it's not in there by accident. No clip is going to make this into this movie by accident. That's clearly in there because it's a gay fetish. The armpit thing is a gay fetish. Don't, do you remember the Abercrombie and Fitch bags? Yes. Armpit. It's, so this movie's not for girls. This movie is not for smart women. I don't know who this movie is for. You have to pretend, like playing with a Barbie. You have to pretend that this movie is something more than what it really is. Which is a shame, because I was kind of looking forward to something just kind of silly and fun with a basic little storyline that said something positive and uplifting and life-affirming. No. The good thing is, because this movie hates men so much, no boys will see, no straight boys will be seeing this movie. So it really won't affect them. The people that this movie would hurt, because it's actually trying to say that, that boys are bad and stupid, um, those boys won't ever watch this movie. So I guess it doesn't matter. All right, moving on. You have great act. You have some great actors in this movie that they just throw away. Margaret Robbie, she does what she can. The script is horrible. Basically, she's reduced to doing very large reactions to somebody else's opinions throughout the whole movie. Ryan Gosling, though, <laughs> he's like, arr, arr, arr. he's eating up the screen every chance you get. He's funny. He's fun. He's doing everything he can. It's silly that he's in this movie. Here's what threw me off. When I saw that Margaret Robbie was playing Barbie and Ryan Gosling was playing Ken, I was like, oh, oh, they're going to do something really interesting with this movie. If you got those two in this movie, Will Ferrell, um, what's that guy's name? Michael Cera. Do you know who that is? This guy. He's in this movie and they do nothing with him. He's trying, but they do nothing with him. Here's a highlight. Kate McKinnon. Do you know who that is? This girl from Saturday Night Live. She's, this is the movie I want to see. She plays like messed up Barbie. She plays the Barbie that some girl played with too rough. And she is great. Every line delivery, spot on. Mattel, that's a movie I want to see. <laughs> that's a movie that actually could be inspiring and interesting and fun. Make that movie. Come on. If you want to see a movie that is pretty and pink and smart and clever, watch Legally Blonde. If you want to see a movie with Margaret Robbie that's about a woman with autonomy who's brave and interesting and flawed and courageous, watch I, Tanya. Do you want to watch a movie about a girl doll that overcomes obstacles?
that finds out something about herself, about the world around her, that grows as a character and influences everybody around her for the good, watch Toy Story 2. In fact, all those Toy Story movies, they do something that you don't see much anymore, and that's the idea of making a movie that's marketed for children, but making it clever and using jokes that even adults can laugh at that doesn't rely on sex for the punchline. Here's my final recap. Barbie the movie is like Barbie the doll. It is a corporate money grab. It's plastic. It's empty-headed, but it is very pretty to look at. You like this review? This is a brand new channel. Brand new. Subscribe. If I get 100 subscribers, maybe I'll do more videos. We'll see. We'll see.